Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Abhijit and today we are going to discuss about the flow automation in Salesforce. So in this video, I will explain you how we can create an event with the help of Salesforce flow. So there are two ways by which we can create an event using the record trigger flow in Salesforce. So first way is that we can create events using the action element in Salesforce flow and you can get the same output using the create record element so for these two methods we are going to create a record trigger flow and before moving to that uh, i would like to introduce our newly launched salesforce admin course so let me show you the course content then we will continue to the topic so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are nine plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early birds so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now, you have to pay only $99 instead of $199. So even if you are a beginner, then you will understand each and everything in this course. And to get this course, you can redirect to our website. And from there, you can subscribe to this course. So now let's move back to. Our so right now, I have logged into my Salesforce developer account. And to create a record trigger flow, we will navigate to the flow setup. For that, go to this quick find box and here search and select flows. And in the flow setup window, click on the button new flow. So we are going to create this flow from the scratch. So select the option start from scratch and click next. And as I've told you that this is going to be a record trigger flow. So select the option record trigger flow and click on the create button. So here we have to configure the flow that will trigger create an event. So in this flow, I'm going to tell you how you can use the action element to create an event and the object that we are going to select for this record trigger flow is opportunity. So here I will select opportunity and in the configure trigger, I have selected the option a record is created. So this flow will trigger whenever there is a new opportunity record is created. And in the section set entry conditions, we are going to add the condition requirements for the flow to trigger. So for that select the option, all conditions are met. And the condition that I'm going to give here is that when the lead source of any opportunity is going to be the web, then this record will trigger. So for that, I will select the field as lead source and the operator is going to be equal and the value will be web. So this is the trigger condition that I have given for this flow. You can give any of the other condition according to your requirements. And here optimize the flow for we have to select the option actions and related records. So as of now, we have configured the trigger conditions. And now we have to create two custom variables that we are going to use later in this flow. So to create the custom variable, go to this toggle box and here click on the new resource. So the new resource is going to be variable. And the API name will be date time. And the data type of the variable will be the date time and default value you can enter here and the data type will be date time and you can also enter the default value here uh, so let me tell you why we are creating this uh, date time data type variable that uh, when we will create event using the action element we have to define what will be the start time and the end time of the event so for that we are creating these date time variables and after entering all the details of the new resource click on the done button so now we are going to add the action element in the flow for that click on this plus icon and here select the action and now you can see the list of actions so here we are going to create an event so for that we will select the option event and then click on new event so here we can see we have to enter the label api name so now we have to enter the details to configure the event element so the label i am going to enter here is event for opportunity and the api name will be autofilled as i click on it and the assignee id assignee to id is going to be the triggering opportunity account id and then owner id here it is so the assignee of this event will be the owner who owns the account of the opportunity so in salesforce you know that in uh, every opportunity have an account so the owner of that account is going to be the assignee of this event 
and end date time here we will select the date time variable that we have created so for this we i have selected the same date time variable you can also create different date time variables with the default value if you want and after this scroll down to related record id so here re related record id is going to be the triggering opportunity and then account id and in the subject you can also enter the subject of the event so here i am going to enter the subject as follow up event for the opportunity so with this we have created the flow and at last we have to save and activate the flow to save the flow click on the save button and here enter the flow label and the flow api name so i am naming it as opportunity event flow and after entering the flow label and flow api name click on the save button and here click on the activate button to activate this flow so as of now we have activated the flow now we will go back to the developer console and there we will check the working of the flow so the target object that we have set for this record trigger flow is opportunity so we will go to the opportunity tab and and in the condition requirements i have set the trigger as when the new record will be created this flow will trigger so for that i will create a new opportunity record so here i have to enter the required details so after entering the details uh, i have also mentioned one trigger condition that when the lead resource is going to be the web then this record will trigger so here in the new opportunity record i have set the lead source as web and now i will and and now i will click on the save button so as we click on the save button we can see this opportunity record is created and in the activity section so in this so with the help of this record trigger flow we have created the event for the account owner of this opportunity so the account of this opportunity is garden technologies and in the activity section we can see this is the event that is created with the record trigger flow and here we can see the subject that we have entered in the flow this is follow up event for the opportunity and the same subject that we have entered in the flow follow up event for the opportunity so this is how you can create an event using the record trigger flow in salesforce with the help of action element now in the second method we are going to see the process how we can create events through the create record element in salesforce using the record trigger flow so let's see the process how we will do that so now again i am in the flow setup window and here i will click on the new flow button and uh, and here select the option start from scratch and click next so this flow also we are going to create with the help of record trigger flow so select the option record trigger flow and click on create so in the first record trigger flow we have used the target object as the opportunity and in this record trigger flow we will select the target object as campaign the flow is going to create event for the campaign and the trigger condition that i'm going to hear is a record is created or updated and you can also set the entry condition for this record to trigger but uh, in this example i'm not going to do that and after this we will add the and after this we will add the get record element to the flow and here i will enter the label as get campaigns and the api name will be auto field so the object here is going to be the campaign so the condition requirement that i'm going to give here is when the type of a campaign is going to be a webinar then it will create an event for that so with this get record element i will fetch all those campaigns that are either created or updated with the type as webinar so for the field i will select the type and the operator will be equals and the value is going to be webinar so now we have to again create the date time variable that we have created in the previous flow to store the value of start time and end time of the event so for that click on the toggle button at the top left side of the window and here click on new resource so the resource type is going to be the variable api name that i'm entering here is the date time and the data type is going to be the date time again and here i have to enter the default value for this date time variable and after entering the all the fields click on the done button now after the get record element we will add the create record element to the flow so for that click on this create record element and here enter the label and the api name so the label i'm going to give here is create event to campaigns and how to set record values we have to select here manually and the object will be the event so now we have to select the field values for the event object so the owner id is going to be the campaigns from get campaign 
and uh, owner id so that means the owner of the campaign will be the owner of this event also and another field is start date time it will be the variable that you have created and the next field is end time and this will be also the variable that we have created and the what id we have to select this what id is the to which this record is going to be related so the what id is going to be the campaigns from get campaigns the campaigns from get record element and the campaign id and what else is remaining yes the subject so the subject we are going to enter here is manually so the subject i am going to enter here is event for webinar campaign so now we have configured the flow and now we will save and activate the flow and after entering the flow label in the flow api name i will click on the save button and then after saving click on the activate button so now again we will go back to the developer console and and here we will go to the campaigns tab this time so in the trigger condition i have selected that when a new record is created or updated as a campaign type or the webinar this record will trigger so here you can either create a new record or update the existing one but uh, here i am going to create the new campaign and the type is going to be the webinar as we have configured in the trigger conditions and uh, and also the start date and the end date so after entering the fields i will click on the save button so the campaign is created as we click on the save button the campaign will be created and as we click on the activity tab we can see this is the event that is created with the help of record trigger flow for the campaign record so this is how we can automate the process of creating event in salesforce using the flow and i hope that you like this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye